all right what's good youtube is jay here we are back with another hell divers 2 update video i do apologize for just the lack of general hell divers 2 content on the channel i've been trying to figure out some issues with my internet and i've been doing a lot of test streams recently because my game kept crashing and my internet was disconnecting well now the crashes are fixed and i got a brand new router because my old one i think was kind of dying but anyway we are here with a new update for hell divers 2 first we've got the brand new war bomb which is the democratic detonation this induces introduces a host of new weapons some new grenades some world war ii looking germany uh thermite grenades <laughs> i don't know if this is very democratic or not but either way we got a bunch of new weapons a bunch of new emotes new skins uh some new uh boosters and stuff and we'll kind of go over everything so let's start off with the first tab nothing too crazy here super credits squats oh that that's sick actually wait a minute that's actually really cool we got the brand new harbinger of true quality player card the new thermite with the uh damage statistics here and there uh the brand new marksman rifle the br14 adjudicator 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 medium armor penetration which is really really nice uh, i actually have enough to actually get most of this stuff too which is cool <laughs> uh, but you have to buy the whole thing i believe with super credits first and then you can uh keep it pushing moving forward we've got new armor over here which increases your throwing range and limb health which is nice um and some new gas mass look at things you can really really live out your fallout like rp uh and then uh what else we have here the harbinger of true quality a new cape and i think that's it for this first tab for the second tab we've got this new eagles fury player card this new demolition specialist Further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30% and it increases your initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades plus two, which isn't a new ability. We see that on plenty of different armor pieces, but um, this time you get the grenades strapped to your chest in true Helldivers 2 fashion. Next, we've got the Demolition Specialist uh, headpiece, cape. That's pretty much it for that. Now we've got the Expert Extraction Pilot. Lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction zone. Now, it doesn't give you a number here, so I wonder how much is it reduced by? That's actually really, really good. Wow. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Next, we've got the R36 Eruptor, which is an explosive... What kind of gun are we looking at here? Probably an assault rifle of sorts. It looks like some kind of AR or maybe a single fire. I'm not sure. Its capacity is five. Okay. So it's just an explosive launcher. It's a slug thrower. It, it shoots bombs. It's, it's meant to blow stuff up. I'm going to have to censor that word probably because YouTube doesn't like that word, I don't think. It's got medium armor penetration and explosive damage. Super credits. And then the courtly bow. We need to just bow to your enemies after you destroy them. Next up, we've got the boxer victory pose. The freedoms tapestry. The new GP31 grenade pistol with one round or magazine just keep that in mind you will run out of ammo very quickly with this after you fire meaning you'll go to zero then we've got the fs 55 devastator which just uh, you, you, i don't know how you're supposed to be able to see over this but it works it reduces your recoil and provides a 50 percent resistance to explosive damage this will actually be really really good on those new defensive missions they added for the robots basically where you have to hold a certain point there's lots of explosions going on non-stop lots of heavy enemies this will probably come in handy for that uh, particular mission type. Next up, we've got the FS-55 Devastator and the Freedom's Tapestry Cape, which is this, but on your cape, like all the other ones. I, I wish helmets kind of had some, um, some kind of play, like maybe they increase your accuracy or something, you know? Like, I, I wish they kind of gave you some little, like, minor buffs just so they have more uh, use and, you know, uniqueness, uh, aside from being just a cosmetic item. But other than that, you know, they're still cool as what they, for what they are. Next, we've got more super credits, 100 super credits here, and the brand new exploding crossbow. So yeah, we've got a crossbow in the game now that shoots explosive arrows, and it has a magazine capacity of five. You can get this entire premium war bond for a thousand super credits, like always. You can either unlock them in game, or you can buy them in the superstore. Um, and speaking of the superstore, let's check out what armor we got over here. I think this is new, actually. Yeah, the new juggernaut armor oh this is sick i'm gonna just cop this really quick that's really cool then we got the exterminator helmet the juggernaut helmet and the new exterminator bodies uh piece which reduces recoil and provides 50 percent resistance to explosive damage i think this one has a significantly less armor rating compared to the new one that we have right here 
but um it's probably it's a little bit lighter that's the difference between the two it's just a little bit lighter so you're not completely running out of speed i run mostly a speed build just for running away from things but this is this is good to know they have this next we've got a brand new list of new ship upgrades we've got the superior packing methodology which is basically buzz resupply boxes to fully refill support weapons um with basically one box so you can max out all of these different weapons with just one box of a resupply box which is really insane so you can more evenly spread out these uh, supply packages basically for your entire team now next we've got atmospheric monitoring which reduces the spread of AG barrages by 15 percent which is either going to be hit or miss i think it's good because it'll allow you to use it on more concentrated groups of enemies i wonder how uh, like i hope it's still able to cover a good amount of ground you know so the enemies just can't completely walk out of the barrage but this will save you some headache with your teammates and yourself and wow do you need a lot of common samples for this stuff okay wow and i was just about done maxing out my own um my own comma samples and rare samples and super samples and all that okay good to know next we got the extra large weapons bay which further expands eagle weapons bay by removing unnecessary systems such as fire suppression ejection and airbags okay um right uh this strategy in particular basically gives one additional bomb to strategies that drop multiple bombs in one go so like the airstrike smoke cluster bomb na napalm etc not the kg bomb because it only drops one bomb obviously next we've got enhanced combustion this is literally just a net buff to fire it, it increases fire damage <laughs> it doesn't get any more simple than that i actually need to get this last upgrade so i can actually unlock this but it just increases fire that's all it does which is crazy fire is actually pretty good and it just got even better next we've got circuit expansion lightning arcs fired from weapons and turrets jump to one additional enemy so these arc weapons well they basically can tag one additional enemy and it, that's about as simple as it gets next we have blast absorbent sentries take 50 percent less damage from explosions there's a lot of explosives when you're finding the bots or when you're doing defense missions you're calling in orbitals like th there's explosions everywhere in this game and with this upgrade it basically provides a little bit more protection to your very precious sentry turrets they don't well die as easily other than that there are no other things of note to mention for this particular update currently here's what the major order is looking like we are at two out of five we have 20 hours to defend two more planets which are martel marfark and, and vernon wells all we have to do is get that blue bar past the red bar we don't need to max it out we just need to get it there and then we should be okay I don't know why we've got so many people dedicated to these planets. We've got a whole operation going on, but that seems to be a trending thing. We've got a major operation going on. Everybody's like, oh, attack planet. Attack planet, please. Like, we're all the way up here. What are we doing? He's, we're not getting up here anytime soon, okay, guys? But all right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Jay the Gamer. That's pretty much it for this that's pretty much it for this update video guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for gaming content as always this has been jay the gamer i will see you in the next video i hope you all have a great day may the force be with you all peace